All right. What's up, YouTube? My name's Garrett, and this is the Move with Murph channel. I am going through the gear list that I have on my Tiaroa Trail. This is the long trail in New Zealand. It's 3,000 kilometers, and right now I'm 1,000 kilometers in. I'm in an Airbnb, and it's Christmas, and I've been resting, and I am going out to eat nonstop. I cannot stop eating right now. It feels really good to be in such a huge city right now. So um, I'm going to go through the gear that I have. First and foremost, I'd like to say that I am not sponsored by these companies. They didn't send me this stuff for free. No one's endorsing me to tell you about these things. And I'm not really even doing much review. I'm just giving you a loadout list of all the things I'm carrying along the trail with me. I'm not the lightest guy on the trail, nor am I the heaviest. I'm pretty much right up the middle. Um, I definitely strive to have some more comforts and I just added some along the way. Um, I added an A7C camera, which is what I'm filming on right now and is not going to be featured in the video at all because I need to film with it. So uh, I have the kit lens and the Sony A7C and then I have a bunch of the other gear that I have to accompany it. So um, at the very end of this video, I'm going to go through my base weight and talk about a little bit of the philosophy I use when I pack this stuff. So if you want a specific review on anything in this video, leave a comment below. Um, and I'm going to keep doing videos as I go along the trail. My goal for 2022 is to make one video a week. So if you're into this type of stuff, you can go ahead and subscribe or do whatever. But let's get right into it. Um, the backpack that I'm carrying, I have the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Junction 2400. This is a 40 liter pack. And I love this backpack. This backpack is not for everyone, but it is definitely a pack for me. Um, I've had great success. It's super comfortable. Why I say this backpack's not for everybody, it is not like the lightest possible option out there. It's one of the lighter. It's definitely like lighter than an Osprey backpack. It's just under two pounds, but it has been super comfortable and it carries up to 40 pounds comfortably. I love this thing. It is not very waterproof. And for me, I would have gotten like a Z-Pack or something a little bit lighter. But in the future, I know I'm going to be doing things like the Arizona Trail. I'm going to be carrying a bunch of climbing gear and some ropes and some really heavy stuff. So I wanted something with an internal frame like this backpack has in order to support all that weight. And like I said, I'm not the lightest guy on the trail. I'll be the first to say it. So um, I love this backpack. This is the Junction 2400. And that's where I throw everything. And another thing that I didn't put in this video were the shoes that I'm wearing on the trail which are the Ultra Lone Peak 5s. I just switched these out for some Timp 2s that I used, and the Timp 2s made it about 600 miles or 1,000 kilometers, but they were wrecked. So I'm gonna do a comparison video, and I'm also gonna put up a video of that. So let's get into it. All right, first item is the Patagonia 30 degree down sleeping bag with a hood in the front zip. I also have a waterproof stuff sack that I throw that in that I grabbed at Macpac here in New Zealand. Moving on to the AXL air from big agnes not insulated inflatable ground pad next up is eight ultralight stakes that i grabbed from hyperlight mountain gear and i have a z-pax duplex tent i split the weight of this with my hiking partner so it's not all on me following that i have a ultralight ultra cheap butt pad i grabbed on amazon moving into the kitchen i have a swiss army knife mini and an evan rue titanium pot it comes with a little stuff sack to keep the soot out of my backpack and some other contents inside like that towel. I have the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. Great stove because it ignites and I can simmer with it. I often eat rice. Moving forward, I have the Deuce of Spades. Great trowel, super light, really small. I have the Snow Peak Titanium Spork and a Sea to Summit X Mug. I'm kind of a coffee addict, so I can't really go anywhere without a coffee mug. Next up is a DCF food bag. I grabbed from Z-Pack. I have a Sawyer squeeze filter that I throw onto a water bottle. I find that a lot easier to fill in rivers and natural water sources than that bag. But I do carry the bag because it's kind of light and small for longer water carries. And I also have a couple of smart water caps for these sports bottles. Next up is my Diddy bag. I have a small towel for drying off the tent and my body. I also carry a small tape repair kit, a deck of cards, and my wallet. This is also a mask because COVID. One up to this, this is my water repair kit. I have an extra sports cap from Smart Water. I have the Sawyer coupling and a couple extra washers. That helps me backwash the filter and repair anything that might happen. That's my ditty bag. 
I have a pair of Smith sunglasses, polarized. Next, I'm going to move into my electronic bag. I have a lens cloth, an additional battery for my camera, a memory stick, a variable ND filter with nine stops. I have a lap mic. I have a charging cable for my camera, my AirPod Pros. Next up is a two USB New Zealand plug. I have an SD reader for my iPhone with a lightning adapter. I have various charging cables for my watch and Kindle, so on and so forth. A black diamond headlamp. I have a power bank. I'm also carrying a Kindle. I like to read and I like luxury items. What can I say? Next up, I have a pen for filling out camp forms and this hip pack. Inside the hip pack, I use a waterproof stuff sack like this one to keep my camera dry and some of the other electronic equipment I carry. Moving on to the clothes I carry in my pack, the icebreaker tights. I have some darn tough ankle socks and smart wool longer socks for sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> I have three pairs of socks. I'm a diva. I have a Carhartt beanie. I also carry some Metolius insulated belay gloves. That's from my climbing kit. I just really like them, so I take them hiking with me. I have outdoor research synthetic underwear for sleeping. I have a Melanzana microgrid hoodie. I also carry a bug net. Keep those sand flies and mosquitoes off me. At camp, I have a Nano Puff Patagonia puffy jacket. I have a Capoline t shirt. Next up, I have the Outdoor Research Helium 2 rain jacket. My worn weight is this Patagonia running hat. I have another pair of Outdoor Research synthetic underwear that I hike in. I have the Outdoor Research sun hoodie. This thing is amazing. It feels like being in the shade all day. I burn so easily. I also have a pair of Katmandu running shorts. Those are my hiking socks I showed you earlier. And I have a pair of standard Katmandu distance trekking poles. All right, there you have it. That's my entire gear list of everything I'll be carrying for the majority of the time on Tierra Roa. Um, we'll see how that changes as time goes on. I might get rid of a couple things. I have a bunch of luxury items with me. I have the camera. I have a bunch of electronics. I have a Kindle even. Um, I'm carrying a lot of clothes. So this is the moment you guys have all been waiting for. Uh, my base weight, my total base weight, including the camera gear, the camera, all the things except for what I'm wearing, like my hiking shirt, my shorts, my shoes, my hat. I do include my sunglasses in the base weight. Some people do, some people don't. It's not a big deal. But my base weight total is 16 and a half pounds. And that is something I'm pretty happy with. Um, it would be without the camera, about 14 and a half pounds. And I don't recommend most of you carry a camera. When you're backpacking, you are going to be exhausted all the time and not everybody is gonna to wanna to take photos and lug around a huge camera. They're super expensive, they're really hard to take care of, whatever. So, um, a lot of you could be around the 14 and a half if you followed those footsteps exactly. I really don't recommend that you do that. Um, I have a lot of things that are kind of carryover items I've had for a little while. Like my icebreaker tights are pretty heavy. I also have like climbing gloves with me, more clothes than most people should, but um, you know, that's just what I have with me right now. And I didn't want to go spend money on some new stuff right away. I just wanted to use it to the end of its life. It's definitely not the lightest sleeping bag that I have. Um, it's not the lightest backpack out there. You could go lighter. But if you're really brand new and you're watching this video right now, um, I would be pretty stoked if you got to the around 15 pound range. Um, if you were in that zone, you'd probably be pretty happy. Um, anywhere, I, in my opinion, if the further you get from 15 pounds in either direction, the further from comfort you get in general. So people like to say full comfort and then they cold soak or whatever. I like to have a stove. Um, I like to read, whatever. So um, if you are in the 15 pound range, you're probably in a really good place. Um, if you go a lot higher, although you might have some more luxury items and a lot more things, um, you're gonna be feeling that weight every single day on the trail. And if you go a lot lower, if you're under 10 pounds, you might be really uncomfortable in the fact that you're not eating warm food and you're not drinking coffee, um, whatever. So I think that it's safe to say the further from 15 pounds you get, the more unsafe you can get. Um, if you wanna get a lighter pack, this is an experience-based thing. So get out there, get in the mountains and hike, and you will learn how to have a lighter pack than what you are currently dealing with. 
So I'm really comfortable with my base weight, 16 and a half pounds, given the fact that I have a Kindle and some luxury items and I have a stove and so on and so forth. Um, I do not want to be any heavier than that. And in the future, I will be lighter. So if you can get to the 50, if you're brand new and you can get to the 15 pound mark, you're in good shape. Um, and then as you get more experience, I would suggest getting lighter and lighter because you can start to cover more ground and just be generally happier um, with that kind of stuff. So every hike I do is a bit different and it really, really depends. But this is my first long trail. And by the end of this, I feel like I'll definitely be having some things I want to change and I'll make a video about that as well. So stay tuned. I'm going to keep pumping out videos as I go along the trail. Thanks.